For Coach George Wares, congratulations, a uh, regional championship. And uh, like we said Friday after the team lost, I guess they've never done it the easy way this year, and they, they definitely did it the hard way, coming back winning four straight. Well, you know, we were saying before the interview, it, it's, it's one thing to win four straight, but every game was a, a nail-biter. Even though that last game ended up 10-4, to four, it, it seemed a lot closer than that because they seemed to be threatening so much in the latter innings and we were just wearing out. Uh, it was just an incredibly, an incredibly competitive regional. I give a lot of credit to the other three teams that played here because, you know, I'm very happy for our players that we won it, but you play it again, who knows who might win it. But uh, what an effort by our players, led by the leadership of our seniors, to uh, win four straight against quality competition. And uh, Valerie Schulenberg, the outstanding player, pitched a ton of innings and a lot of pitches, but as you said, some, some big innings from a freshman inning hesitation, bringing in a freshman, making her tournament debut, a 3-0 count, and bases loaded. Well, not, not really, because we had talked to, we being Coach O'Brien and I, we had talked that we thought, you know, Trish going back to Gustavus set up very well to, to go against them. And then we thought Annie uh, set up a little better against uh, uh, against uh, Aurora. So we, we made the call, and, you know, to Annie's credit, she got us out of a pretty big inning. Uh, and uh, to only be down, you know, we gave up three, but that was, uh, or two, but it could have been a lot worse. So we were very happy that we got out of that with uh, the three runs they scored. And, we were going to go as long as we could, and then we clearly uh, were going to allow you know Mallory to win it or lose it once it got to the point where we had to make that final decision. And you know we were talking, uh, Trish was fine, Annie was big, and Trish was good against Gustavus. But once Mallory was in, if she falls down and twists an ankle or something, uh, it was probably going to be Carly Rock pitching because we were all used up. There's nobody else we could go to because we'd already had Callie pinch hit. So, and obviously we had some great, great pitchers at Central. All Americans and Players of the Year, but uh, I don't recall one ever going through this kind of a gauntlet where it just really had to carry the team on her back for the whole weekend. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, you think back, we've had a lot of great ones, as you said, and, you know, the only one that even comes to mind might be Libby, you know, in that 03 National Championship, but she had a lot of help, obviously, from April and, and uh, Amanda Wilson and Corey Schmidt. Uh, but, yeah, you know, it, it's just. Uh, what we've been trying to get Mallory to do for four years is just compete, 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 and see. Uh, she certainly did that. Uh, the whole whole regional, even the game we lost, we played well. So there wasn't. Uh, you know, we made some errors down the stretch, but we were just physically and mentally wore out. So you kind of expected that, and obviously Aurora did the same thing. Yeah, the, the early games, a lot of pitchers duels and scoreless games for quite a few innings, and then uh, clearly both teams pretty pretty drained at this point. A very different kind of game and battle of survival today. Yeah, it was. That's a good way to put it because uh, it was kind of who, you know, again, Coach Grimes who showed the most grit and our players were determined. And, that, you know, when we got that 5 nothing lead, it's easy to coast a little bit. And we might have got into coast mode just, just slightly. And so it was uh, an eye-opener when they got the 3 and, you know, then a 5-4. So there was a chance. It's 10-4. to four. They had a very good chance to tie it or maybe go ahead in that fifth inning. So uh, then, then after we got through that inning, I felt pretty good. And then obviously when we scored the – some of the insurance run, it, it just made it that much easier to go out and defend. Left a lot of runners on base, but got some very key hits from really up and down the lineup. Well, and, and you know, different people. You know, we, we've had, uh, you know, the home run, obviously, Carly against Fontbonne, but, you know, we had uh, Emily Walton just punch it and play, and, you know, and, and to our base runners credit, they just keep going, and a couple of miscues at first base, and we not only score the runner at three, but also the one at second. I thought Paige Schreiner had a big weekend with some key base hits, and it, it was just different people. And uh, you know, the, it's a very good sign moving forward when some kids, you know, when you leave that many on, and some people that normally get the RBI struggle a little bit, and then other people step up. So uh, I don't even know if you can look at one or two individuals. It's just from top to bottom. I think we've become uh, pretty hard to, to defend, and we've got a lot of kids that can do different things, and most of them are kind of playing within themselves and doing what they're capable of doing. And all these seniors, and I'm not sure how it ended up, but going into the final few innings, leading hitter for the tournament of all the teams was a freshman, Tabitha Taylor. I didn't realize that, you know, and she had a great tournament. And, you know, I thought, uh oh, you know, she dropped the one today, and here we go, we're back to Arizona mode. And, but she, she bounced back from that, and she had a tremendous tournament, obviously, some big hits, and, and she played a really good left field uh, and I, you know, made a great throw on the one with the bang bang play at home where. They were called safe for their third run. So, yeah, I mean, she stepped up big time and uh, didn't play like a freshman, that's for sure.
And I don't see this happen a lot, but an all-tournament team, a player, an outfielder, was picked because of her defense, Paige Hesh. Well, it's so gratifying to see that because, uh, you know, again, the, the games that Paige was out, it was part of the reason our corners weren't playing as well because uh, Paige just covers so much ground that makes it easier for our right and left fielders because they know they're going to have to get to quite as much uh, territory. Uh, very, very deserving. And she had some, you know, big things every once in a while on offensive, but her defense is so valuable. I mean, she takes base hit after base hit and sometimes extra base hit away with her defense. Congratulations, Coach. All right, thanks, Larry.